Hello, everyone, and thank you for joining us um, today. I'm your host, Shirin Ben Zayed. I'm head of innovation at Finastra. And this is another live meetup that we are conducting during our hackathon, Hack to the Future. Hack to the Future is a global fintech hackathon with already over 4,000 participants from 75 different countries. And it's aimed to redefine finance for good. And you've actually got till December 20 to join and submit your project. For more information, please check fintech.defposto.com and we'll share the link with you on the chat as well. And today we're really excited and honored to have with us a panel of experts and innovation leaders from um, Atijari Wafa Bank, uh, which is one of the leading banks in the MIA region. Uh, Tijeri Wafa Bank is also a hackathon partner and sponsor that we're really excited to have along with us uh, for the hackathon. And they are offering a prize, which is an incubation opportunity for the best project and solution um, that would come for uh, to solve one of the two use cases they have defined and they will be sharing with us today. So the aim of the live meetup today is really to go through these two use cases. They will be presenting the two use cases to all of us. Uh, feel free to um, ask your questions and make sure that you understand the two use cases and are ready to hack on these two use cases. We'd like the session to be open and interactive. So feel free to post all your questions on the chat or to unmute yourself to ask a question when it's time for questions. And with that, I'd like to hand it over to Elise. If you can please introduce yourself and introduce um, introduce all of us to Etijeri Wafa Bank and what you do in terms of innovation. Elise, over to you. Thank you, Sharon. Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, in Morocco, it's uh, morning, but uh, you are based uh, on over the world, so I don't know if it's morning or afternoon or maybe night for you. Uh, let me introduce myself. Though. So I'm uh, Elise Broom, head of uh, Smartup and Ideation uh, at Winov. Winov is an uh, innovation entity, uh, in entity of uh, Atijari of a bank. And uh, SmartUp is the, is, it's the name of the open innovation program in the bank. So uh, Atijari Wafa Bank is a leading banking and financial group in Morocco. Uh, the group serves 10 million clients uh, in retail, uh, professional, corporate, and uh, industrial, uh, institutional. The, the group uh, employs uh, 20,000 people in the 25 countries, mainly in Africa, uh, in also Europe, and the, in the Middle East. Uh, Atijari Wafa Bank uh, attach a great importance to innovation and especially to open in innovation uh, by increasing collaboration with startups and academic uh, actors. Uh, that's why uh, we insisted on, talking, on, on taking part in the second edition of uh, Act the Future, organized by Spinastra. So uh, I will present you today two use cases. Uh, you are based on the real uh, pain point of your entity, the, the trade finance and the communication. Uh, the first half hours will be dedicated to the presentation of the trade finance use case, and the expert will then uh, answer your question. Um, and uh, we, we will do the same exercise for the communication use case in the second part of our time. Uh, so uh, now uh, I will let uh, Lumda Derkawi Head of uh, Trade Finance and Amin Nassib, uh, domain expert, explain, explain the trade finance use case. Good morning, everybody. Can you hear me? Yes. yes. Good morning, everybody. Uh, hope you and your families are doing well. Uh, we are very pleased to take part with the 
Finastra's partnership, the, the second uh, hackathon edition, and would like to thank you and welcome all the participants. As you know, the COVID-19 crisis made all companies aware of uh, the urgency to digitize uh, their processes, to be able to transact faster with confidence and drive down operational costs and mitigate risks. A Tijari of a bank places the digitization of processes and those specially relating to trade finance at the center of its strategic development plan. We target to automate the most critical aspects of our trade finance operations, such as uh, document checking, data capture, and scru uh, scrutiny uh, to meet compliance and policy requirements. In this regard, I'm very pleased to present the trade finance use case and the topic of automating of letter of credit documents control and review with the MT700 mm -hmm. opening SWIFT instruction. For more details, mm -hmm. it's about retrieving uh, documents data from scanned letter of credit by using optical character recognition, OCR. That means that the artificial intelligent powered automated documents review to extract data from an instructed text, like uh, such as the uh, 46A uh, and 47 clauses and check the consistency between the letter of credit SWIFT instructions and the underlying documents from control, form control, substantive control, and compliance, etc. The main purpose is to minimize manual administration through automatic integration into the bank's digital workflow. And the impact, uh, desired impact are, uh, first, reduce customer processing time up to 50%, and improve office efficiency, back office efficiency, and mitigate risk in processing trade finance transaction. And our scope is especially uh, import uh, letter of credit. The potential users of the solution are the back office processing team, of course. The inputs uh, will be uh, the MT700 and 700, 707. Uh, commercial documents like invoice and packet list, shipping documents like bill of lading, air, airway bill, lorry or truck receipt, financial documents uh, like bill of exchange uh, or a co accepted draft, official documents like license, origin certificate, photo sanitary certificate, inspection such, uh, certificate, etc. And of course, insurance documents. Like policy. The output uh, will be the sentences of discrepancies, of course, and any anomalies observed. And uh, after that, define the control points uh, to be displayed in uh, TI. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Lugna, for uh, this uh, presentation. Um, uh, my name is uh, Amin Nassib. I'm from the back office as a MOI expert. So I'm very glad to be here with you. And uh, I will present you uh, in a, an operational point of view this use case. So um, on this use case, the, the, the controls that will, um, that will put, excuse my English, so um, we have three, uh, four type of controls. We have uh, uh, some form checks, some background checks, some compliance checks, and some regular regulatory controls. I will present to you uh, the um, the form checks. For the form checks, we control the uh, all the documents we receive. With uh, with Swift MT uh, seven hundred and seven uh, oh seven, with all the documents we receive from the correspondent. So we, we do some check controls on the the name of the documents, uh, the number of the documents, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. On the background checks, we have to do all controls 
that uh, 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 a human can, can do on the, the back office. So we control all the information as below. Uh, we have the, the, the internal reference of transaction. We compared the, recep the reception dates of the documents, the confirmation dates, or any other dates specified on the, the documents. We control also um, the uh, the invoices, the amounts on the uh, on the invoice, uh, if we have advance or not, the anchor terms, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. We control also all the information about the regular usants and international, which is some um, uh, controls who are standards in any banks. Uh, in the world, for the the the, the, the compliance uh, checks, we control uh, like uh, uh, country of origin for embargo, etc. We control our uh, merchandise, beneficiary, uh, the boat, the ports, etc., etc. For regulatory control, it's concerned Morocco only for this use case. So we can control uh, the amount um, uh, within the license of importation, existence of the original documents, and uh, the port of um, uh, of chipping, who, who might be Morocco. Thank you. <clears throat> Thank you very much, uh, Lubna and Amin. Um, now, uh, let me introduce you the expert you, uh, who will uh, support you uh, during the, the hackathon. So. <clears throat> Alors, you have a uh, domain expert like uh, Lumna Derkawi, Nadia Lababi, uh, Amin Nassib. Hassan Baji and uh, Sana Zaki. And you have a uh, technical data and innovation uh, expert like uh, Jamel Mekawi, Ahmed Redan, uh, Miriam Lalou for the data, uh, Brahim Belfric and, uh, and, uh, and uh, Elise Brown. So, uh, so we, we um, we, uh, we will answer your question uh, on slide during the, the hackathon. And uh, if you have a question uh, <clears throat> now, uh, we, can, uh, we can answer your, your question on the trade finance uh, use case. Thanks a lot, Elise and, and the team. That was a very insightful presentation. Um, so yeah, we're opening this for questions. Uh, you can either post them on the chat or unmute yourself and ask your question. Um, maybe one question that comes to mind, and I know that uh, Elise and the team wanted to cover that uh, point, is about the um, first maybe the the availability of the slides. <laughs> So I'm sure uh, you'd all be interested in that and uh, as well as the rules that um, were presented at the end, uh, the rules and the, and the different checks that need to be done on the on the letters of credit. So that's, that's something that we can share with you and the session is recorded and would remain available as well for everyone. Um, and the other important point um, uh, is that the team will be also providing uh, documents uh, for you to build your prototype on. Um, so uh, just um, let us know if you are interested in working in this use case in particular, so we can take you through the, the process to get access to those documents. Um, so I see that we've got um, a first question from Prashant Vijay asking how do we sign up to get sample uh, documents. I guess um, 
it's it's really as simple as getting it in touch with the team. So we're all available on Slack, um, on the on the Hackathon Slack channel. I will post the link on the chat so you can access to it, and would be happy to to get you on board to work on this specific use case. Uh, another question, actually, that I do have for the team here is um, it was really interesting to see, um, I mean, presenting all the processes and the different checks that were done today on the on the document. Uh, my question is whether these are done manually today or uh, do you have existing tools that you are looking to replace with more innovative solutions? Um, so my question is for Amin, actually. Can you repeat, please, Shirin? Yeah, sure. So my question is um, whether uh, today, uh, whether you are doing all of these checks manually or if you have um, existing solution that you are looking to replace with a new one that would be more innovative. Well, I understand. Uh, there is no solution. Is uh, the, the, all these checks are manual checks on back office? It's based on uh, real documents. Yeah, thank you. That answers the questions, and I think that's really important for our hackers also to understand the value of the solution they would be building to really digitize this process. So it's a it's a very um, high value product and, and solution for the bank to to really uh, digitize this process, which is manually done today. Um, I see that we have what I mentioned. Yeah, sorry. That what I mentioned that uh, the, the main purpose is to drive uh, down uh, operational costs and uh, and uh, to, to increase efficiency of uh, back of his team uh, and reduce time of, of uh, processing, of course. No, thank you. I think these are very important information that would be very useful to the hackers when it comes to building their value proposition for this solution. So keep those words in mind from, from Lubna. Uh, so if I uh, can uh, just add an, uh, an information, and it's very important to, to reduce delay of treatment of documents uh, because it's uh, very important in... Uh, in uh, using uh, a documentary letter of credit. The delays are very important and they are very short uh, regarding the, the ICC. Uh, uh, that's uh, what uh, Amin uh, spoke about uh, just before, which are the of uh, treatment of uh, documentary letter of credit. So uh, uh, if we can find, if we can uh, have this solution, it will be very, very interesting in, re in uh, reducing uh, delays of uh, treatment of documents. No, oh, thank you. That's very interesting. And actually on that, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, sorry, is it, um, are there any penalties in case of delays or, What's really the um, yeah the benefit in reducing those delays if we can maybe quantify just helping again the, the hackers uh, define their value proposition? Oh yes, of course there are uh, there are uh, big uh, discrepancies which can which can uh, make uh, the 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 NC uh, in in difficulty for payment. Yes, delays are very very important. Thank you. And uh, Luna, I think you, you had something to add on that. I, I would like just to complete what, the, what the Nadia said. It's about uh, compliance and the legal system. It would be very interesting if the solution uh, can, 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 be in, in, can be integrated with the legal system of compliance uh, providers, uh, including sanctions or, uh, or some... some, some uh, and provide some some solution about about uh, the legal policy. Uh, it's it's a part of some discrepancies and some uh, and some uh, uh, difficulty that stop the the the, the processing of a, a letter of credit, of course.
And uh, on that, actually, do you have existing um, function screening solutions that you'd like the hackers to integrate with, or do you want them to bring some we solutions have, we there have, as well? We have already our list, of course. We have our system of uh, comp um, compliance control. Uh, but I think uh, Kamal or, or Nasib would answer better than me because it's technical uh, uh, aspect. Yes, uh, if you may, uh, Lugna, it's in a natural strategy. We would, uh, I, I don't want to 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 detail um, more. So um, about compliance, uh, as you said, we need a, a total integration with our systems. Après, uh, the rules of uh, control or checks compliance. We will integrate the uh, one by one. It's uh, something which is uh, simple. Just to to resume um, the, the question of uh, Shirin, um, what we need is um, the, uh, in a technological point of view. Uh, it's a strong solution with OCR. La lecture des documents. It's very very important. Uh, another another thing. Uh, we need also a solution who has all um, the rules about the règles et usances à l'international, which is something not simple. There is a lot of editors who, has, who, who are specialized in that. It's not something that we can't build from, uh, from scratch, if uh, you know what I mean. So it might be, uh, it might be something which be very expert on uh, rules, uh, trade rules, RUE, etc. Voilà. Okay, thank you. So uh, focusing on OCR and then the and the, the different rules to be implemented. I see we have a number of questions coming from the audience. So just um, let's go through them. Uh, we have another question from Prashant uh, Vijay again, uh, asking whether um, the solution would be uh, whether it is okay for the solution to be hosted uh, by um, uh, by them, or if there is a requirement for it to be on premises, and I think that's a very important uh, question here. Uh, we we prefer that the solution uh, would be on premise in our uh, in our uh, infrastructure. Mm. And uh, maybe just to be clear there, uh, is it um, just a preference or is there, are there regulatory requirements for it to be, I mean, an obligation yeah. for it to be on-prem? Yeah, so if, if I may answer this one, I think that, well, for the proof of concept during the hackathon, it could, for test purposes, we could just do it on, on their uh, servers. But I think that uh, once we have the finalized solution, we'd like it to be running on our service because it will be dealing with highly sensitive information that has information about our clients, their uh, providers and such. And this cannot be, uh, I, I can't imagine this being uh, allowed to be on the cloud from our perspective. Okay, thank you. That's clear. So, um, hosted solution is fine for for the PUC for the hackathon, and then we'll need it to to be on prem. Uh, we have a number of other questions from Mathieu. The first one is uh, how many documents are processed annually by um, Tijari Wafa Bank trade team, and how long does it take in average for processing a document? So how many annually and how long on average to process one document? Uh, we will send to Mathieu all uh, information about um, volumetry, etc. Because I think it's uh, something which is uh, very confidential. Okay, so you're not able to share the numbers. Okay, understood. I mean the, the delay or the the, the average of uh, the time to it's uh, fixed by the ICC to uh, five calendar days to uh, to process uh, documents. It's uh, that's why I said before that uh, delays are very important. So we are guided by those ICC uh, uh, rules. 
uh, UCP ICC rules uh, number uh, 1600. It's special specialized uh, for uh, NT700 uh, or uh, 700, yes, and it defines the delays to uh, to the process of uh, treating treatment uh, of documents to uh, five uh, calendar days. But I think it's about uh, the standard of uh, the of delay uh, the four the the five days, but uh, in in. Um case of, of uh, time of, uh, of uh, processing, uh, I think it depends on the complexity of uh, the, the letter of credit itself. It can be uh, it can be a day, it can be uh, uh, an hour or just an hour or two. Uh, I think the metrics are uh, should be communicated later uh, from the, the back office team to give more details about uh, our um, our exigence about about uh, about uh, time reducing. Thank you. So, uh, Mr. Mathieu, we will send. I, I will send you all the information about that. Oh, thank you. Perfect. And then we'll be able to share um, some of these numbers with the hackers. I think it would be very interesting for them to to define their value proposition and and um, yeah, the benefits of digitizing this process. Um, We've got another question from Mathieu, which is, um, do, are there any specific controls required due to the, look, uh, the local regulation? And I think you mentioned something like that, but just to um, yeah, get back to that, are there any specific local regulations uh, that uh, bring specific controls here? Yes, it's OK. Uh, as I said um, on my introduction, there is, uh, it's the, 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 the fourth uh, chapter, it's the, the, the regulatory controls, which is uh, a specificity of uh, uh, Morocco here. The, the, the list of, uh, there is no, uh, not a lot of controls, but there is someone like um, the, the amount of the invoices with, uh, with the, 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 um, the license, the, the titre d'importation, which, uh, which is something specific uh, in Morocco. Uh, the existence of the original documents and bill of ladings, and the, the port uh, of um, achievement have to be Morocco. So, there is not a lot of rules, but there is a little, little bit of specific rules. Yes, now that's clear. Uh, we've got another question from Harry Balaji asking um, whether the library of international rules would be share, shared with the hackers or if it's something that is publicly available in that case, where can they get access to that? It's, it's yes, a I, I, yes I, 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 I understand. Well, the difficulty on this project is to have this bibliotech. We have it on on, book, on books, on the internet, etc. But um, integrated, uh, uh, like um, uh, rules that we can put on systems, mm, no. So yeah, I guess that would be the work of the hackers to sort of uh, implement these rules. But uh, it would be really helpful if you can share maybe some of the information you have about um, yeah, these rules so they can implement them. Exactly. Um, cool. Um, so yeah, there was really lots of questions. Uh, I see lots of interest here. Um, if there are no other questions, I suggest that we move on to the uh, second use case. I, I Before I should like just to um, say something about uh, the, the solution. It should uh, also integrate all the metrics like weight and geography and time, and to be aware to, to analyze and, and understand the, those metrics to can compare between the, mm -hmm. the letter of credit documents and the, 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 the SWIFT uh, 700. Thank you. Uh, we've got also another question from Prashant um, Vijay uh, asking, what languages will the document be in? Good question. <laughs> <laughs> this was um, the, 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 
the difficulty that uh, we have on the back office is the language. So we can have some invoices on French, on English, on uh, Chinese, on Turkish, in, an, in Arabic, n not a lot of invoices, but especially French and uh, English in a big, 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 big uh, majority. Okay, thank you. Cool, uh, then I think uh, we're good to sorry. go. Sorry, yeah, sorry, before, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I want just to, uh, to precise that uh, the, the program must integrate the, the main uh, information about invoices, about uh, document, uh, transport documents, uh, I think there are a lot of specific, uh, specific uh, uh, things to control, but we need to, ha uh, to have the form. It's very important, and the main, uh, the major information or the main uh, very capital information, we have just to define those information and uh, to integrate uh, the, the, those uh, in the program. But the difficulty in the, the, uh, the LC uh, the, or the letter of credit is that there are a lot of specifications and there are a lot of exceptions. Uh, that's the difficulty. Yeah, thank you. So um, I guess the hackers would also get um, to understand this a little better when once they have access to those documents and start working on them. So I expect a lot of questions to come in as they as they actually start hacking on this specific use case. Um, any other questions, any other comments before moving on to second use case? then I guess we're good to go. Thank you, Shane. Um, so now uh, let me introduce uh, you, um, Mrs. Nesrin Gessous, Head of International Communication, who will present you the communication news case. Hello, everybody. Um, glad to be here today um, and get the chance to present to you um, uh, this this uh, new uh, use case that come to us uh, with the sanitary context. Um, these days, every organization uh, needs to quickly adapt to what's going on on around, especially as more uh, business communications move online and. Um, most of us are working remotely. Um, we used to to organize a lot of uh, um, events, uh, um, but with the with the with this uh, with this crisis, uh, it uh, we we moved a lot of uh, of them uh, uh, into online uh, digital uh, events. Uh, we now we need to target the the right audience and priori prioritize leads um, and uh, that's uh, that's why we need to 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 build a, an event intelligence platform that would allow the bank's event operations to be managed uh, in an integrated manner end to end from a single interface the goal is to design a rich and seamless event experience for participants and partners. Uh, it would provide a good understanding of the participant journey through uh, enriched data uh, collection at, stay, at each stage of the event cycle. Uh, event intelligence is our time for insights gained through uh, data analysis. Uh, this platform would be the like the cornerstone of every event as it gives us a deeper understanding of uh, int attendee thoughts, behavior, intents. Um, so we can uh, collect and uh, capitalize on event data. Um, and that's uh, our desired impact. Um, and to use uh, after then the, the the data, so that we can uh, we can um, have uh, 
uh, more um, customized uh, marketing campaigns. Um, uh, so um, that's that's the the, the point here. Uh, when when we when we used to have uh, events uh, organized uh, with the uh, attendees, um, we could not have uh, and measure uh, the impact uh, on having like uh, like um, very. Uh, uh, customized uh, campaign after after then and now with the uh, with the digi with digital we 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 want to 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 have um uh like uh, like um mar uh, intelligence uh, uh, automation here used um uh have uh, metrics uh and and what that's uh, that's uh, the point. Uh, the target would be customers, prospects of the bank, uh, institutional partners, or any member of the bank's ecosystem. Uh, we work with uh, universities, startups, experts, associations, um, and uh, the bank or group employees. Uh, we uh, we are twenty thousand uh, employees in the group. Um, and uh, we are going to 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 share with you the uh, the the types of concert events uh, and our internal charter. I think uh, I have. A... Thank you, Nesrin. Okay. So, um... You are Thank you, Mr. Just Elise, uh, perhaps to uh, emphasize uh, on some facts and some points that uh, have been uh, told by Nisreen. Uh, uh, just to emphasize on the fact that we already have uh, Teams, Microsoft Teams, uh, th that we already use, and uh, what you, we want about uh, through this use case is uh, to enrich the digital uh, experience of our events and uh, with the focus uh, on uh, data how to uh, as said by Nisreen how we will exploit data of videos in order to uh, get some uh, uh, some insights interesting insights about uh, attention about uh, uh, about uh, uh, perhaps the main, the key discussion uh, points, and we want that the participant uh, to uh, to give us inventive solution about this. So we are very very open on this use case. Thank you, Mohamed. Yes, indeed. We we use a, a Microsoft Teams uh, tool to to organize our uh, digital uh, events, but it's uh, organized like uh, um, uh, with a scattered manner, uh, and we would like to to like to consolidate uh, all the data in one platform. Maybe using uh, Teams uh, like. Uh, in the back office, but to plug in, uh, um, uh, how do you say, mo module uh, to 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 complete uh, to complete what Teams can uh, can offer uh, to 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 have uh, all this uh, all this data uh, in one place, and then uh, being able to to convert uh, the contacts in leads uh, and. Uh, the scoring leads, lead scoring to orchestrate then uh, a smarter uh, and um, strategic um, um, marketing campaigns. Do you have any question on that?
So uh, in this uh, slide, you can see the, the expert for this use case, uh, Nesrin Gesus for uh, domain expert, and you have the expert for technical data and innovation. Thanks a lot, Ms. Trine and, um, and Elise here. That was a very interesting. It's very different from the first use case. Uh, definitely asking for a more um, maybe creative solutions. Um, I'm actually waiting for um, the questions from the audience. I have a couple of questions for you. Um, can you maybe give us an example of what these events are about? Like what was the most recent event that you have hosted? Who was the audience? Um, what was the theme of the event, etc.? Okay, we, 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 we organize uh, events um, uh, toward our uh, clients, for example. Uh, it can be a small or um, medium-sized uh, or big companies, um, and uh, we we uh, um, wish to 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 talk about a question uh, concerning them. Uh, it was like uh, to position our bank in the in the marketplace. Uh, but uh, it was just to 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 stay uh, like uh, uh, um, close to to our clients. Uh, now what we need is it's to 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 collect the data and to use it after then to 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 marketing campaigns uh, to to be able to to give the the right message the right uh, maybe the right service. Uh, to the to the to the customer or the prospects, uh, being able to 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 uh, to identify and uh, qualify this uh, this uh, contacts uh, and um, uh, do uh sharing is that is that okay do you see clear clearly what we need or do I yeah, yeah 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 that's uh that's interesting. More. um no i think that's clear actually um so basically what you are looking for is a way it could be sort of a plug-in to teams i don't know if that's something that is feasible um where for example you you would get after the event information about who who has joined, who has not, um, maybe the, the, their sentiment during the session, if the videos are on, so uh, to kind of see um, positive, negative sentiments, discussion points they were most interested in, so in terms of attention, as a way for you to identify areas where you would be following up maybe in, and offering certain products and services to those clients. Did I did I get it right? Exactly. Yes. Yes. Exactly. What and we need is to uh, capture these uh, this contacts and give them the 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 right uh, the right message, the right uh, service. Uh, uh, that our company can can give them. And. Um, And just to to uh, to be sure, uh, are you open also to consider other communication platforms other than Teams, or do you want to stick to Teams and have something that would somehow complement the use of a Microsoft? No, we we are totally uh, open to other uh, tools. Um, we we used to to um, to have uh, Teams with internal uh, events. Uh, but uh, with external events, uh, we we can we can go uh, we can go uh, um, to we can go and discover other uh, other tools maybe more uh, specific to our needs here. I'm not okay. sure whether a, a Teams can uh, can uh, can respond to all our uh, our needs here. That's why 
uh, we we presented this uh, this use case to to this audience and uh, these uh, hackers to 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 find maybe more accurate and uh, and uh, specific uh, solution to this uh, to this uh, to this use case. Um, the other questions I have for you are more on the uh, on the integration side. So um, I guess it would be interesting to see this platform somehow connected to your CRM system. I don't know if you're using one. What would be your the platform you would be using there? Uh, it might also make sense to integrate it with the um, with the core banking system, maybe to get some information about existing clients or onboarding new clients. Yeah, that's what we see uh, in the the actual trends that there is a uh, like interfa interfaces between uh, event uh, um, platforms, uh, CRMs, and uh, and and uh, intelligence uh, auto automation to 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 manage uh, all this uh, all this data to have uh, to have um, things. Uh, um being uh, like uh, um how do you say in in english uh <laughs> <laughs> thank you for the exercise in english <laughs> in french mm -hmm. uh the one coherence coherence Yes. Uh, yeah. And um, another question I had for you, actually, because you mentioned COVID and the sanitary situation. Do you see this as uh, being used also once we are over all of this, hopefully very soon? Or do you see um, uh, the bank really continuing to engage with customers on a digital manner um, in a couple of years as well, when all of this is hopefully over? I cannot hear you well. Oh, uh, do you want me to repeat the question? Um, yes, please. Uh, I think I have a connection problem with my wife. Yes, sorry about that. So my question was actually, um, do you see this being also still a requirement in a couple of years when hopefully the COVID situation is over and we are able to meet in person again? I think I think that we we need a data driven platform for virtual digital events. But uh, in the future, when uh, when we will be able to 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 meet again physically, uh, we we'll ha we we have to to have like a, um, even in a hybrid uh, event, uh, um, a data driven uh, events. Uh, with uh, with tools that uh, that enable us to 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 know uh, very deeply our uh, attendees. Uh, uh, we don't use uh, we don't use uh, uh, digital tools for for that. Uh, we still have uh, um, like uh, manual manual registration. Uh, we 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 use like just our ma mailing uh, mailing uh, system uh, not uh, not automatically uh, for the confirmation and uh, and all the all the all the the the, the secret we we don't we don't we don't use a, um, a very uh, automatic uh, automatic uh, uh, like a record of our customers mm. uh, and what uh, from 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 the invitation to to their uh, registration and uh, participation. So I think it the, this uh, the, this uh, this uh, data will be will be useful uh, for digital or uh, physical uh, events. No, thank you. That's very clear. And actually, uh, I think you you said the, um, the the perfect answer here. Hybrid is it's probably the future of these. So even if we go back to normal, hybrid hybrid is probably a great opportunity to still engage with 
all customers and prospects that are not able to make it in person. Um, thank you very much. I don't know if any questions from the audience. Um, again, I think this is a very interesting use case. It's very different from the first one. Um, but I think it's really interesting because of the focus on data and the complementarity that we can see and how really um, the power of data when we bring together this kind of information that doesn't sit in a banking system along with the data that we would have about um, customers transaction and banking activities etc so bringing the two together can be quite par powerful in terms of analytics and um, and insights um, don't have any actually that is a more general question uh, that applies to both use cases um, uh, I'd be really keen to to get um, to Jerry Wafa Bank experts views on what they would like to see as um, a winning project here. What would make a winning project? And if you have any tips or advices for our hackers today. I don't know, Elise or uh, Mohamed, yeah. if you'd like to take the question. You. Okay, Th thank you, Sharon. Uh, perhaps just um, an advice for all the participants uh, is that here what we want to see is innovative, um, innovative solutions. So as a head of innovation of Atijal Wafa Bank, we want them to to get uh, more in creativity in both uh, cases. So the second case uh, use case is uh, something that uh, it's uh, it's a use case for creativity, and we want uh, uh, the participants to show us this creativity and this innovation. Uh, and uh, and another advice: do not hesitate to contact us. Uh, we have uh, uh, built. Uh, uh, the team and and the squad to 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 back you in these use cases. So do not really hesitate to uh, to contact us if you have any questions uh, about the use case, about the technology, about the requirements, about the, the scope of the prototype. Uh, we will be pleased to answer uh, these questions, and we have. Uh, uh, voluntarily uh, put um, around the table all the expertise that we have within Atijar Wafa Bank. Thanks a lot, Mohamed. Um, I've actually just shared on the chat the Hack to the Future Slack channel where you can actually um, get in touch and ask all of your questions. Um, also, just wanted to mention that we um, we now have a specific channel for Atijari Wafa Bank challenges that you can find on the Slack channel. So feel free to join there, post any questions. Uh, let us know if you are interested in working on one of these use cases. So uh, we make sure you're uh, correctly onboarded on this and get access to all the input files and documents. Um, that are required for you to start working on this. So, um, uh, so, so just hearing uh, how to get access to Slack uh, because uh, because I have some troubles to to to, to get access uh, through uh, Internet Explorer. Is there some requirements uh, in terms of navigators that we need to use? Um, I don't think there are any specific requirements. I um, personally have been using it on, on, on Chrome. Uh, you can also download the Slack app, which uh, can be either, you can either have it on a desktop or on a mobile. Um, so it's also available as an app.
And is it, is it something that is open to all the participants? Yeah, 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 absolutely. So it's an on the checklist for all the hackers. Once they register for Hacks of the Future, they get uh, this as a first item on their checklist. And um, it's open for them to, to join the Slack channel. Mm, okay, great. Thank you, Sharon. Sure. Um, any final questions for our experts? We're so lucky today to have with us the innovation leaders and domain experts from Etijari Wafa Bank. So um, yeah, please feel free to ask any questions before the time is over. Otherwise, um, I'd like to, to thank you all so much. Um, thank all of our speakers. Uh, for taking the time and going through uh, the two use cases, explaining really the pain points that they would like the hackers to work on. Um, uh, it's definitely just the start of the collaboration here. So we're looking forward um, to see all of these conversations and questions continue on the Slack channel. And we, um, we are really looking forward to all of the innovations that will come um, on these two specific use cases. Thank you all. Uh, please make sure to join the Slack channel and to join Hack to the Future on fintech.devpost.com. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you very Thank much. You. Have a nice day. Bye. 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 Yes, have a nice day.